Hey, you're watching Transformers The Basics, and this one goes out to all the lovers out there. In celebration of Valentine's Day, these are the basics on the history of Transformer romance. <clears throat> Love has always been a part of the world of the Transformers. As fictional characters created by human beings, Transformers have always exhibited very human behaviours, consistently depicted as living beings with souls and feelings. Social creatures who form all types of interpersonal connections and emotional bonds with one another, including romantic ones. Transformers don't sexually reproduce, which tends to be the main rationale in any argument that claims it doesn't make sense for their robotic race to feel love. But Transformers has never been the kind of hard sci-fi story that worries about evolutionary logistics like that. And anyway, sex and love are different things. Social asexual beings can feel romantic love and desire partnership and closeness too. If they can hate each other enough to wage a war for four million years, there's no reason Transformers can't love each other as well. Of course, it's most common for Transformers to fall in love with one another, but there have been many romances that have crossed species lines and seen Transformers fall for humans, aliens, and more. The very first Transformers love story was told in the original animated series in the 1985 episode, Sea Change. This adventure saw the Autobot Sea Spray fall in love with Alana, a member of the alien Tlalicons, a race of shape changers who used a magic pool known as the Well of Transformation to alter their bodies into whatever form they desired. To prove to Alana that he was a living being with a feeling heart and not just a machine, Sea Spray braved the waters of the Well and used it to transform himself into a Tlalicon so the pair could be together. Sadly, an attack by the Decepticons forced Sea Spray to return to his robot form, and Alana used the whale to temporarily turn herself into a robot to fight alongside him. But in the end, the pair realized that their outsides didn't matter, as long as they felt the same way about each other inside. Just a few episodes later, the cartoon would introduce the first female Autobots, and in the process established the first actual Transformer couples, Powerglide and Moonracer, Chromia and Ironhide, Firestar and Inferno, and of course, Optimus Prime and Elita One, whose relationship began in their younger days, when they were known as Orion Pax and Ariel. Other famous romances seen in the series included The Girl Who Loved Powerglide, in which heiress Astoria Carlton Ritz became smitten with Powerglide after he rescued her from the Decepticons, and the many loves of the female Autobot R.C., she was introduced in The Transformers the Movie as having a mutual attraction to Hot Rod, but in subsequent episodes of the cartoon, she was instead shown in a relationship with Springer, while the Japanese sequel series The Headmasters paired her with Chrome Dome. Since its cartoon debut, Robot Romance has been a common sight in Transformers media. 1989's Transformers Victory manga introduced the first Decepticon couple, Deathsaurus, and his wife Esmeral. Many significant plot developments in 1996's Beast Wars hinged on the story of love across the battle lines between Predacon bad girl Black Arachnia and chivalrous Maximal Silverbolt. Beast Wars also featured a romance between Maximal's Tigatron and Air Razor and sequel series Beast Machines paired up Rat Trap and Botanica. Japanese spin-off Beast War II based several episodes around a comedic love triangle that involved Maximal Bison Bighorn having an unrequited crush on the Seacon Scylla, who only had eyes for Bighorn's teammate Scuba. Transformers Cybertron featured love-crazed Decepticon Thunderblast, who lusted after anyone big and powerful, while Transformers Animated explored the Batman and Catwoman-like relationship between the series' versions of Optimus Prime and Black Arachnia. Human and Transformer romance is a bit rarer, but even the original Marvel comic book featured a few instances of it, such as when Skids almost ran away from the war to spend his life with cowgirl Charlene, or when the Dinobot Sludge became infatuated with reporter Joy Meadows. Modern examples have featured in 2006's Kiss Players, which depicted a young Marissa Fairborn as having a crush on Optimus Prime, 
and 2014's Transformers vs G.I. Joe, which saw Autobot Brawn and G.I. Joe Covergirl fall in love, get married, and even use biotechnology to conceive a child. Transformers have even been known to mistakenly get the hots for ordinary machines. Robots in Disguise Sideburn, in particular, was famous for the way the sleek lines of a little red sports car could set his engine revving. Now, that's just a short list. There are many more examples too numerous to name, and more still that exist only in implication and subtext. But these are just the male and female couples. As a children's franchise that's had to abide by certain rules for much of its life, same gender attraction among Transformers has been historically rare. In fact, the first same gender couple actually occurred by accident. Unaware that Air Razor and Tigatron were going to become romantically linked in the series, the Japanese dub of Beast Wars changed Air Razor's gender from female to male. Initially, the dub reworked the early flirtations between the characters into something completely different, reimagining Tigatron as a samurai and Air Razor as his ward. But when the pair got indisputably romantic, the show couldn't work around it anymore and just had to roll with it. Certain characters, such as Starscream from Beast Wars II, Arcadis from Beast Wars Neo, and Knockout from Transformers Prime, have all been written as stereotypically gay-coded men, vain and campy and regularly played for comedy. But the only such character to actually display genuine same-gender romantic interest in another was the Decepticon Mirage from Transformers Energon, who was in love with his leader, Galvatron. Perhaps most audaciously, the Japanese dub of Beast Machines transformed the character of Night Scream, previously an angsty teenager in the original version of the show, into a flamboyant caricature based on Japanese comedian Masaki Sumatani's character, Hard Gay. Thankfully, gay representation in Transformers was eventually elevated above this level by IDW Publishing's comic books, which, in 2012, introduced the first intentionally gay couple in Transformers history in Chrome Dome and Rewind. You see, early in the IDW universe's life, writer Simon Furman established that Cybertron's population was made up entirely of male-coded robots. Later writers built upon this to establish that if the planet was all one gender, it therefore stood to reason that same-gender relationships would be the norm on the planet. Female Transformers would later be revealed to exist on Cybertron's colony worlds, but this didn't change anything. Same-gender relationships were common on the colonies, and many native Cybertronians, having grown up with no knowledge of the concept, didn't even really understand what different genders were, and therefore didn't consider gender a factor in a potential romantic partner. Other notable relationships featured in IDW's comics included the star-crossed saga of Cyclonus and Tailgate, the franchise's first lesbian couple Greenlight and Lancer, Aileron and RC, Anode and Lug, and Drift and Ratchet, to name just a few. The comics also revisited relationships from past series, like Tigatron and Air Razor, and even afforded Knockout the chance to be depicted as openly gay and in a relationship with his assistant from the cartoon, Breakdown. Following the strides IDW made, the Transformers Collectors Club introduced a few same-gender couples in their stories, such as Predacons Bazooka and Crazy Bolt, and the Shattered Glass incarnations of Windblade and Strongarm. For much of the brand's lifespan, Transformers' physical expressions of love have typically been limited to embracing and hand-holding. Historically, kissing between Transformers has tended to be only implied rather than shown. Other than Ariel giving Orion Pax a peck on the cheek, cartoons tend only to show the act in a comedic context. For moments of romance, it's typically obscured or interrupted, or otherwise kept off screen. On the other hand, some stories have had the Transformers express confusion when they see humans kissing. As recently as 2015's Robots in Disguise, Autobots were shown to be puzzled by the concept. Why are they smashing their mouths together? It was IDW who depicted the first visual, unambiguous, played straight, on-the-mouth kiss between Transformers when RC planted one on Aileron in 2018. 
terminology to describe transformer couples has been surprisingly limited. We've heard human terms like girlfriend and boyfriend and husband and wife, and Cybertronian terms like sparkmate and life bond partner have been used in a few scattered instances. IDW coined conjuncts endura as a formal term for a transformer's significant other, roughly comparable to a human spouse. Though, as noted, the comics would feature several such relationships, it's been observed that, in the grand sweep of things, they're rather rare, and most Transformers go through life without ever finding that special someone. Though it's been around since almost the beginning of the franchise, robot romance has never been more celebrated in Transformers stories than in the last few years, with even a Valentine's Day special having just arrived from IDW this week. While they're most famous as war machines, make no mistake, Transformers are just as good at being love machines, too. And those are the basics on love in Transformers. Go make a hot date with the comments section and tell me about some of your favourite Transformer couples. And remember, today is about celebrating love, okay? Show some love yourself by giving the like button a click and subscribing for more history and lore from the world of the Transformers.